Hello everyone, this is going to be my first uh, unboxing video. I usually don't do that, but today I found something very interesting on the street market. This is very unique, old Bulgarian flashlight. single color 3.5 volts made with order from the country dated 1984 this thing has never been used before it's old communist era flashlight incandescent bulb the sign says light translated in English you can clip that to a shirt button you can probably clip that to your belt you can see how shiny and pristine it is The railroad workers also use flashlights like that, but they've got two or three colors, red, yellow and green. And this one is just for lighting. You can see how the paint always suffers here. You can even see there is a warranty card of sword. It says the city of Belovo instruction for usage of this electric flashlight. Let's see. always require from the salesman to test the flashlight. It uses flat battery 4.5 volts. There is even instructions how you need to bend the contacts of the battery to improve the reliability. There is even instruction how to change the bulb and it says that there is one year warranty from the date of purchase and that if you don't follow the instructions the factory has no responsibility whatsoever and that means that this one is dated from the 5th of December 1985 very very unique I've got lots of old used up flashlights like that. For example, this is the shell of a railroad flashlight, but the color filters are long gone. It's very, very destroyed. I used to convert those to LEDs, so there are still traces of a failed project. I took the electronics for charging the battery and controlling the current to the LED to another flashlight but here you can see it had three color filters red yellow and green for railroad signals I'm probably going to fix that someday but let's try that let's see if the bulb is still I'm going to put a rechargeable lithium-ion battery in the body of the original battery to preserve you know the looks of the original thing but those batteries are 
very expensive and their capacity is very low so it's not a good thing to try using it funny because the battery is quite thick and heavy why the capacity is so low is a mystery to me but there is a plenty of room inside I can put a lithium ion and I can even put charging control electronics inside and it's all going to fit perfectly so let's see we're going to need to maybe we won't be we won't have to do anything actually just return the shape of those contacts and we should be able to test it right away it's very simple contact system you just slide it down Let's see if the bulb is. Yeah. So it should be working if the bulb is alive. Don't want to scratch the paint too much. For some reason, it's not willing to close. And it should because this is the original. Well, if you see right here, it's like there is some sort of mistake in that flashlight. This is the right type of battery, but if you look closely, you will see that the battery hits the reflector. Funny. Okay try to force it to close and as always you can see that at the end there was almost no quality control but let's see if the light is oh yes there it is amazing it's not what it should be, but the light is good. Let's try to force it to close properly. Now it's a bit better, but you can see that how cheaply it is painted. See how thin the layer of paint is around here. It says three level Bulgarian money. Funny because I managed to purchase it today for two. But what can you do? Inflation. Well, I'd say it's quite good, quite bright. Makes you feel a bit of the past I'm still going to convert it and just leave it on a shelf for fun and sometimes maybe it will be used I really love those old communism era electronics and stuff and cars and there is magic inside new modern things that are just not made to last uh, I hope you enjoyed it I will post another video when I modify the battery and well enjoy your day everyone